All right, what up, people? It's your boy Che from Green and Eagle Eye. That's right, you just tuned in to the chopping block. And um, today's feature stars a certain midfielder who served us well for a period of time three years ago in Francis Coquelin. Um Now, I know people are probably looking at me thinking, what is it with me and midfielders? I, I just think that area in particular needs improving. Um, particularly centrally, you guys know I'm not a Rams, Aaron Ramsey fan. Whether he'll feature on the chopping block or not, you have to wait and find out. Uh, but as for Francis Coquelin, I just feel like I, I just feel like the player isn't good enough. I think the reasons I, I'm hearing whenever I have a debate with someone about whether or not to keep Francis Coquelin, they're always sentimental reasons. You know, that, oh, well, you know, he did so well in 2014 and he can play in the Europa Cup. Okay. Oh, well, you know... Um, he, he, he plays for the, he plays for the badge and gives maximum effort okay the new one that hasn't been laid out yet but I guarantee you that somebody in the comment section will say this oh well um, you know we've just had Lacazette come on board and um, Francis Coquelin is a good friend of his um, so it's important to keep him around for Lacazette so that Lacazette settles in like Francis Coquelin is the only French person that can help him settle in in the Arsenal squad. The, remember, this is Arsenal we're talking about. The player has done an okay job. Let's not oversell it. He's done an okay job. You know, he joined us in 2008. Um, has always been an enthusiastic midfielder. One thing I will never knock Coquelin for is that he is enthusiastic. You won't hear me talk a lot of shit about Coquelin, generally. Um, the reason being is because I recognize that he is very enthusiastic and he always tries. You know, players like Oboué, uh, Coquelin, Welbeck, they're limited in their ability. But I'll never knock them for the simple reason that they're tryers. And there's nothing worse for all you Ozil critics out there, let, let's put it in perspective. Ozil is, has the God-given ability in the world. But what is he often knocked for? Not trying, not caring. And the one thing those type of players are, like Coquelin and Welbeck and, and Abue, one thing they were always really great at doing was trying and putting effort in. It's ironic that on the day I make this video, which is Saturday the 29th of July, that 15 years ago, we signed a player that should have been what Coquelin is to us today. We signed a certain Gilberto Silva in 2002, July 29th. And what a signing that turned out to be. A signing that was underwhelming at the time, but grew in stature and became an invincible and somebody who today is seen as an example when you think of your Vieira and your Petits the next kind of bar just underneath that in terms of defensive midfielders is a Gioberto Silva someone who was a very unfashionable player you wouldn't necessarily have say he's got the best shot or was the best passer but the one thing that Gilberto Silva did amazingly well was he was so good at protecting that back line, tidying up, putting a tackle in, commanding that, that midfield with his power. Something that I was hoping that Francis Coquelin would, would be, that should have been his aim, his ambition. But a player is not good enough. These days, Wenger, and, 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 and yes, Wenger is partly to blame because I honestly believe that Francis Coquelin under a Jose Mourinho, under a Conte, would flourish more. Why do I say that? Wenger has never been a, a man manager. I think he's very good with certain players, don't get me wrong, 
But when a player needs on the pitch instruction, like a Francis Coquelin, who needs that constant guidance, that needs that almost hand holding to tell him what to do, when what not ridiculous pass to try, when it has Hollywood passes that very rarely comes off, Wenger is not your guy for that. Jose is your guy for that. Under a Jose, Francis Coquelin would be a really good player. Mark my words. Because he's a fresh canvas. He's not a foot... He's not... He doesn't have a footballing brain. So, but he needs that guidance. And under that guidance, Francis Coquelin would be an excellent player. As it is, he's just okay. And we need better than okay if we're going to get back and compete in the Premier League. This is going to be the most competitive Premier League season we've seen yet. The sort of money that's being spent at the moment, my gosh, we're having to spend money just to keep up. Never mind to win the thing. And players like Francis Coquelin is not going to help with that. I, I, so I, did a, I announced on Twitter earlier that I was going to do this video. And I had one guy, don't get me wrong, love that guy. Right? I won't blast him out too hard. He responded by saying, oh, I don't know about this because, um, you know, Coquelin could be good for the Europa League. I want to win that motherfucker. I don't know about you. We, we are no longer in the position that we can take something like the Champions League for granted. So, first and foremost... If your ambition is to get into the Champions League, you should want to win the Europa League. Secondly, when have Arsenal won a Europe? When was the last time Arsenal won a European Cup? I wouldn't mind winning that motherfucker. People who say that United's achievement was 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 bullshit in the in Europa League is talking shit. It's a cup. Is it a, as prestigious as the Champions League? Fuck no. But it's a cup. And I certainly won't knock Arsenal trying to win that thing. Francis Coquelin is not going to help us do that. I think he has been a great servant um, since 2008. <laughs> so let me let me not overplay the word servant, but he has been a, a useful player. He did help us out amazingly well in 2014, but the player is not good enough. Are there players that should go before him? Absolutely. But Francis doesn't get a pass because, oh, you know, for sentimental reasons are the only arguments I get from people about why we should hold on to Coquelin. Never has someone said, oh, because, you know, he's a good player. Really? Is he that good of a player? With, when, with him always galloping forward, trying to do some sort of stupid Santi attempt at a Hollywood pass. That always goes awry. No. It's time to be honest with ourselves. And as I always say. And I know it annoys people when I repeat it. I will keep repeating it. If it gets the message out to the Arsenal fan base. Sentiment. Should not rule this fan base. Please. Alright. You guys let me know what you think about Francis Coquelin. What is your best image of him? My lasting image of Francis Coquelin was him getting left on his ass by Hazard last season. Surely he's got to go. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. And also, if you're listening to me for the first time, come on now. Hit that subscribe button. You should have done that shit already. And if you're listening to me for the first time, or if you're listening to me for the second or third time, crush, destroy, hit that like button for me. All right, people, I'm out of here. Take care. Peace.